Johnny Gag guy is about to show you how to fix battery acid that has leaked into some kind of foot sander. It is going to be interesting and it is coming up now. See you at the end of the video. Enjoy it, please. How are you, YouTube? Jordy Gadget Guy here. Um, now this wasn't going to be my very first video, but because um, I'm busy recording a different series at the minute. But the old wife has come down with and just brought down something that's broken of hers. So I thought, let's make a video about fixing it, which I hope is going to be a quick fix and a quick first video. Probably not the most exciting video because the aim is this. Now if you don't know what this is, it's some kind of foot. Oh, foot grater. It worked there for a bit. As you can see, well, it, it does. It might work a little bit sometimes. Um, so she, she changed the batteries in it, and she brought it down to the old Jody Gadget guy to fix it. And then the, I had a quick look. Quick look. The battery's in, and as you can see, straight away there, it looks like the previous batteries have leaked, and we've got this battery acid corrosion stuff going on. So I'm going to show you. I'm assuming that's what the problem is. Because we've seen it turn on for a second there, so it, it looks like it kind of makes manages just manages to make contact every now and then, and powers it. But um, obviously, can't make good enough contact permanently to run it. So we need to fix this. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is this bit seems to come out because there's a screw in the middle. So I'm going to remove this. So find a suitable screwdriver. <coughs> him out and there we go that's come out so put that on one side right so now the batteries that I use in this are like an, I'll use alkaline AA batteries just typical batteries so what the best thing to do first is is to neutralize the alkaline on here and the best way to neutralize alkaline is with acid and the what I like to use is just um, this white vinegar I think this is white vinegar I thought it was white vinegar it's distilled malt vinegar is that the same I don't know, but it's fit. It's it's acid. I'm not going to leave it on anyway. So what I'm going to do is just pour a tiny little bit in the cap. We really don't need much. And get some cotton swabs. I love vinegar. I could just drink this. Mmm, smells like chips, doesn't it? Oh, you can smell it. And if we just dab that on in places, just to neutralise that, so we don't get any problems. So you can see the main problem seems to be on this negative contact here, which is going to be green. Um, so that should be pretty neutralised now. So we've we'll hopefully we'll neutralised the alkaline. Um, obviously, I don't want us to leave vinegar on here, so we're just, I'm just going to give it a quick uh, rinse in some water first. Okay, I'll just be back in a sec. I'm sure I'm sure we don't need to watch us rinse something under the tap. Right, so that's done, I've, and I've just run it under a hairdryer for a bit because obviously metal and water don't mix very well. Um, we, don't, we don't want to switch battery corrosion with rust. So it should be dry enough now. Oh, God, I've dropped it. Um, now, we could put a bit of alcohol on it as well. But what I think I'll do first, I'm just going to try and scrape it just so we get some of the metal contact back. And then, and then I'll... Um, Wipe it with some alcohol. But by using the um, vinegar, we've neutralised what's caused this, so there shouldn't be any more further problems with with corrosion from the battery. You know. I mean, what would be good here is I've had a little file on us, but I don't, so I'm resorting to this. Is that going to be good enough, do you think? Let's just put a little bit of alcohol on as well. So again, I've just got this isopropyl alcohol here. Uh, 
tiny little bit we need as well, so again I'll just pour as little as I can in the cup. So we don't waste any. And I get a fresh cotton swab. Just try and give it a good clean. As you can see, it's coming off. And the good thing about this LC probe alcohol is it evaporates really, really quickly. So we shouldn't have to wait long for it to evaporate. Let's put some, uh, use the fresh side of the swab and keep going. Really what we want to see is it's no more coming off on the board and it looks like it's getting there now. Right, I think that should do it. Just give it a, let's let it dry a bit. Right, it's been given some time to dry. So I'm just gonna start putting it back together, which is one little screw. Right, let's see if this is fixed it then. And if it hasn't, I'm gonna look like a right idiot here. Please in the right way. Sorry, I'm doing that off camera. Right. There you go. Simple as that. There you go. So that is how you clear battery corrosion from just about anything. Neutralize it and then try and get off, clean it up as much as you can so the battery can make a good contact again. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love some subscribers. <laughs> uh, as you can hear, it's, I've got a film around with kids around us. So yep, yeah, please, please give us a thumbs up and whatever else would be nice. I'll see you in the next video, which is coming shortly.